So Oxygen OS 13, based on Android 13, not only delivers Google's usual thigh-strokingly delectable features, but it also serves up a tasty buffet of bonus bits. And it's all crafted in collaboration with OnePlus fans who provided tons of feedback before and during the development process. Now I've had my mitts all over the rollout version of Oxygen OS 13, and I also had the chance to chat with top OnePlus software boffins Gary and Creon who are not only devilishly handsome, but also thoroughly bloody nice blokes. So slap on your speedos and get ready for an invigorating swim through the aquamorphic oceans of Oxygen OS 13. And a big thanks to OnePlus for sponsoring this video. Cheers, chaps. So the first obvious question for any OnePlus fan is, will my blower actually be getting the Oxygen OS 13 update? Well, the good news there is it's coming to a wide range of devices, including more affordable blowers and older handsets too. This right here is all of the confirmed handsets so far, which should be updating from the end of 2022 through into early 2023. Now OnePlus appreciates the benefits of stock Androids. The general structure hasn't been tampered with and all of the best Google bits are still crammed in there. Wallpaper color picking, nice. Enhanced privacy tools, tasty. Updated notifications panel, arousing. Oxygen OS 13 essentially takes that stock Android foundation and then adds a little OnePlus flourish to make it stand out. So for instance, that aquamorphic design language changes up the overall look and feel of Android in many subtle ways. The focus here is natural vibes rather than mechanical design. We're talking vivid colors, soothing fonts, soft sounds, minimalist icons, and rounded shapes. It's all rather common. This makes me want to fix a chamomile tea, pump my feet up and say b to work basically. That aquamorphic design delivers a consistent experience across OnePlus's baked-in apps, while the relaxing vibe feels like a natural extension of the mental well-being focus from earlier Oxygen OS versions. A lot of the visual changes are subtle, but OnePlus gathers a lot of user feedback to ensure that the updates are well received. Here's Wall great mate Creon explaining how the fans are tapped up for advice on where Oxygen OS should go next. So uh, how we collect the user feedback, we usually run a lot of uh, user testing, concept testing. We recruit a user uh, from the different regions, uh, for example, in India, North America, Europe, uh, and then we compile uh, ev everyone's feedback. And then we think, oh, based on this insight, we need to, we need to build out um, the, the product future. Another area that OnePlus concentrated on for Oxygen OS 13 is those always on displays, an area where they already ruled over many rivals. One of the big new additions is the Homeland always on display, an animated effort focusing on a family of polar bears or penguins or a bit of lovely coral action. Depending on the time of the day, you'll see those adorable beasties indulging in different activities, be it eating, sleeping, or generally just buggering about. However, the animations are also triggered by the daily temperature in your area. So as things get warmer, those baby penguins and polar bears will uh, kind of disappear. Sounds suitably morbid, but it's Crayon's favorite feature in Oxygen OS 13. And here's more from the big man on how it came to be. For example, like, like the Home MLD, that's also from our uh, user research. We find out users start to care more and more and more about the environmental stuff or the, the climate impact. So we think about, oh, based on this insight, we should build something to serve, serve their needs. Uh, I even I, I'm using it uh, every day. So, yeah, because I, I'm an animal lover, so, uh, and before uh, our team is kind of brainstorm how we have more engaging um, the, the way to tell the story about the, uh, the global warming or the climate impact. Oh, the, this polar bear, this kind of, uh, the penguin, they are losing their family because, uh, like, we, we, we don't save the energy or um, like maybe we can walk instead of like uh, driving a car, something like this. How we really can contribute our, um, ourselves into this earth. And that's not the only new addition when it comes to always on display shenanigans in Oxygen OS 13, because squinting up near the top, you've got this contextual info section. Now, if you're a Spotify user, you'll be able to use this to bring full on widget style controls to your always on display. You'll be able to check out your album and track info as you're streaming tunes, as well as control the playback and also tap into your personal playlists right there on the always on display. And OnePlus is continuing to work on this tech to improve it for future updates. Uh, we still have some details we need to improve, like a, um, the power consumption, um, like a, um, the 
the feature I mentioned, the eye tracking, is not doing very well. So that will those detailed experience uh, we will keep polish them. And I also had to ask, will other music services other than Spotify be supported in the future? Yeah, I, I think right now most important we want to do the best experience right now. So we focus on Spotify, but uh, in the future uh, we may add some you know, music provider into this project, yeah. And Oxygen OS 13 also serves up enhanced and optimized classics like the canvas, if you enjoy staring at a deconstructed approximation of your own mug. Now security is a key feature as always, and another area where OnePlus has built upon the strong foundations of Android 13. So for instance, there's a fresh new auto pixelate feature, which kicks in when you share a screenshot on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. And this can mask any personal details you might have accidentally left in there to avoid any unexpected incrimination. Meanwhile, that private safe tool is now more secure in version 2.0 with auto encryption to keep your privates well and truly private. And gamers haven't been forgotten about either. The Oxygen OS GPA 4.0 gaming tool loads games even faster than before and serves up the usual fantastic selection of features, including multiple performance modes to suit whatever game you are playing. So you can either max out the power or conserve energy if you're just smashing out a wordle or whatever. Now as usual, a large portion of those Oxygen OS improvements are hidden away beneath the surface, just helping everything to run as smoothly as possible. So for instance, OnePlus has once again improved that AI system booster, so it's even more clever when it comes to learning your smartphone habits and then getting things ready for when you need them. And as a result of that, app startup is apparently 10% faster now. And of course, OnePlus already offers several years of OS and security updates with every new phone. But for selected upcoming devices, OnePlus is going to be taking things even further with the promise of four major Android OS updates and five years of security updates. And that's more than pretty much any other rivals out there. And as Gary explained, this wasn't particularly easy to achieve. That is the, a quite a big commitment for that. Uh, we internally we need to do a lot of uh, you know changing to do it. So the first of all we need to refactor whole uh, software engineering, how to make the maintenance easier. Yeah, because uh, you know maintenance for four years, five years is not very easy. So first of all is the software re architecture. Yeah, we are keep doing that for a couple of years. So right now. Uh, we can, you know, have some uh, 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 improvement for that. And uh, I, I think uh, we, uh, in this part, we keep hearing uh, people feedback. We, 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 we are listening, right? So we know user they don't want to a uh, phone uh, without appropriate software maintenance. So I, I think uh, um, we will keep looking for a better software update maintenance in the future. So Oxygen OS 13 may be basically done and dusted, but these fellas don't ever seem to rest. Gary told us that Oxygen OS version 13.1 is already underway and we'll see it in action in the first half of 2023, complete with even more performance tuning and privacy updates. And of course, they're already hard at work on Oxygen OS 14, so I'll come back in about 12 months time and you'll see me banging on about that one. And that right there in a tasty little nutshell is Oxygen OS 13. So definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And a massive thank you again to the lovely chaps at OnePlus for sponsoring this video. Cheers everyone, have a good one, love you.